Can you hear me? Yes. I'm talking to you, you, who believe that your life is firm and immutable and blissful. You, who think this kind of things will never happen to you. Bad news, life doesn't give a shit about you. I was never a bad person. Even so, my youth was spent in the streets, living poorly like a beggar. You have no idea what poverty is, sitting on your comfortable couch. One day, a stranger approached me and offered me a good amount of money if I would volunteer for a medical study. I accepted, of course. You would have done it too. But it wasn't a simple drug trial. The amount of pills they gave me makes all my memories from then confusing. I only know that when I regained some of my consciousness, I realized my body was covered in a black, dense, pulsating slime that seemed to have a life of its own. A group of people rescued me. Their boss was wearing a strange futuristic armor. He promised me that I would be safe with them, and that they would help me understand what had happened to me. But they lied. While I was with them, four trained assassins came after me. I killed three of them. The fourth barely escaped. I understood that was not my place. I fled and flew to New Salem, where I voluntarily entered the most dismal and oppressive place you have ever known, the purgatory on earth itself, the St. Jerusalem Mental Sanatorium. Between its high old walls I found the protection that the outside world needed from me, and I found the hell I deserved. That was where the dreams began, surreal and never imagined landscapes, images that, now I know, the black skin that covers me sent to my head every night. In Saint Jerusalem I also met the hyena. Now I know he really was a monster with the appearance of a man, a creature of impulses, sadistic and cruel, tremendously manipulative, who managed to trick me to escape, and abandoned me to my fate when I was about to die. But this won't end like this. I have been deceived, experimented on, tried to kill me, and betrayed. I have enough blood on my hands now, so I don't care what I'm going to do. I will come out from hell and hunt you down. Don't you dare judge me. <laughs>